It's really exciting, especially because I didn't think that we'd be able to, given uh, COVID and everything that happened with the pandemic. But I feel really excited and really lucky that my family gets to celebrate this with me as well. Uh, it feels good. I just want to close the chapter, get started with something new. So excited. Yeah, I felt like I, I felt like I've been kind of waiting for it, you know. And I felt a little discouraged when I found out they weren't going to do one in the beginning. So when I got the email saying they were finally going to do it, I was like, I'm in there. <laughs> Uh, it feels good. I've been in grad school, so it's been feeling really weird starting graduate school without feeling like I didn't finish undergrad school. Um, so it feels really exciting. It was definitely a challenge. I lost a lot of my pr pr productivity because I really, it was very stressful, especially with Capstone. I had no motivation because I just didn't know how it was going and then I didn't also have that confidence, but my professors really, really reassured us and really had us take our time and breathe and kind of just work together and kind of to come up with a solution. And everybody was really understanding. And at the end, I felt really good about the work that I was able to produce with all of the support that I was able to get. It was hard. So you miss seeing your classmates, your teachers, that interpersonal kind of connection. But my teachers were really amazing and they did a great job making it feel not that bad. <laughs> My favorite memory is me and a couple of researchers were real desperate for some results at our lab. So we ended up camping overnight at our lab. It was out in the field and it was kind of funny waking up at like 4 a.m. with a deer and raccoons around us. And that was an absurd experience. Um, my favorite memory, I think, was joining Pride Club, but then eventually becoming the vice president and the president of it. I made a lot of friends there that I still talk to and that I'm so really close to. So I think just the lifelong friends that you make while you're here. My favorite memory from CSUMB was just being able to go to the beach. Um, there's like three beaches from here, like within like a five minute drive. And then uh, taking scuba diving and then trying a lot of different things that uh, I wasn't able to do beforehand. So one thing I learned at Monterey, at CCMB, is uh, working with others and like how much uh, a group can do to accomplish something great. Uh, a big thing that I learned here is just like being patient, being flexible and kind of going with the flow. It has helped me not only in like my personal life with um, being okay if routines don't always go exactly how I want them to do, want them to go. Um, but it's also helped me in my career, especially with teaching children, things aren't always going to go how you want them to go. I'm hoping to work in a lab, a public health lab to be specific. So I want to work with viruses and bacteria. So hopefully I get there soon. Maybe a little abroad. Uh, maybe either Europe or Asia in the next couple of years, but uh, we'll see what the future entails. Getting my credentials up and up, and hopefully by then um, become sort of like a master arborist. Um, well, currently I am working. I'm working in my field, which is amazing. I'm very grateful for. So my next goal would just be to focus on my career and keep that going and see where it takes me.